up guys welcome back to a new vlog first of all i'm just gonna state the obvious i'm so sorry if you guys can tell that i've been crying i literally just finished watch the friend reunion it took me a few days to watch it but i finally watched it and and i was just sobbing like throughout the whole thing i was sobbing that just made me so happy like seeing the cast and if you guys been on my channel for a while like not even a while few days weeks months whatever it is you guys know how obsessed i am with friends it's truly one of my favorite all-time shows ever because that show just brings me so much comfort like that's the show i turn to whenever i feel anything like if i need a laugh i turn that show on if i'm feeling depressed that day sad that day i turn that show on like that show is literally everything to me i have friends who never watch friends and i don't think they understand like how much this show truly meant to me i feel like the people they interviewed in the show said it perfectly like that's truly the show that you just put on when you want to feel laughter happiness whatever it is like that's just the go-to show and oh, that made me so happy and i'm currently re-watching friends so like it's just i have i have no control when it comes to that show if you guys haven't watched it yet i highly suggest you do even if you're not a friends fan like I don't understand how people are not friends fans to be honest like I, I don't understand it like that show to me is everything yeah I just watched the show and this, this is a spoiler alert if you will if you haven't watched it yet but I was so shocked to find out that Ross and Rachel Jennifer and David literally had a crush on each other while filming the show if that did just make everything so much better for me like now when i rewatch season one and two i'm just gonna be like oh my gosh they actually liked each other during this season but obviously they couldn't do anything about it i just i love when tv show couples are together in real life or like actually have crushes on each other in real life i don't know what it is but makes me really happy that's why i love that 70s show because i love the fact that mila and ashton are actually married in real life like i i live for that kind of stuff so when they said that in the interview, completely made me so happy. Pulling myself together, as you guys can see, I'm dressed because I'm actually about to head out to go meet my brother. We are going to the movies today to go see A Quiet Place 2, which I'm so excited about. This family, this household, is A Quiet Place stand household. Like, we love the first one. We constantly watch it. We watch that movie really, really frequently. So, the second one just came out. Really excited about that. My brother and I go into the movies to watch it. I need to head out right now to go meet my brother because I think I'm running late. So, yeah, we're gonna go. But I just wanted to do this little intro and catch you guys up on the day and let you guys know what's happening. So need to fix myself together and then we're heading out so it's currently raining as you guys know i'm not a big fan of the rain i love the rain i just don't like being in it i realized that i didn't even tell you guys and i don't know if you guys noticed but i got a new camera i can't remember if i had told you previously but the last one that i had it really had a lot of problems so i sent it in to get fixed and they just sent me a whole new one so that's what we're vlogging with i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but I'm very excited that we got a camera. And also when the camera came, it also came with a whole new battery pack, which is perfect because I was planning on getting a whole extra battery. So yeah. Okay, so we just got out of watching A Quiet Place 2. That movie was so good. Such a great movie. I truly recommend it to everyone. If you didn't watch the first one, you need to watch the first one. And I'm guessing, my brother and I guessed, by the way, the second one ended, there's gonna be a third one, which we are totally okay with because the way it ended was pretty obvious that there's gonna be a third one, at least to us it was. I know my mom is gonna be a little tight that she didn't come with us to see it because she really wanted to see part two. I do wish that it came out on HBO Max, but it didn't, although, this experience really wasn't, eh, I don't know, it was okay. I'll let you guys know the full story about why my experience is like kinda eh when I get back home. But we're gonna go to Shake Shack, get some burgers. It is so much later now and I'm finally back home. The rain was ridiculous so needed to change my outfit because my clothes was drenched. But like I said, A Quiet Place 2 was such a good movie. The reason why I said my experience was, you know, a little eh, because my brother and I usually always sit in the back. So we sat in the back and then like 
15 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes into the movie, these kids came in, they sat in the row behind us. And oh my goodness, like the patience that all of us had in this theater was, was really ridiculous because these kids were making noise throughout the whole film. And if you guys seen A Quiet Place, the first one, I mean, the name is in the title. It is a quiet film. So the movie theater is like drop dead silence because the film is a silent film. Like obviously they talk, there's dialogue, but they whisper pretty much the whole time during the film. So the fact that they were speaking low and these kids were so freaking loud was insane. It got to the point where someone got up from their seat and came to the back and like straight up told the kids like, what is wrong with you? Like you've never been in a movie theater before. And one thing that he said that made all of us like just so happy, he was like, this is the first time everyone in here is seeing a movie in 17 months. Sitting here like, I don't understand these kids. Like people are coming back to the movies, you know, trying to resume regular life. Like today was the first time my brother and I have been to the movies in a year. And if you guys been on this channel for a while, you guys know my brother and I are like huge movie heads. Like we used to go to the movies I don't even know how many times maybe like two three times a week so this movie we really wanted to see it and because it was one of the movies that wasn't coming out on hbo we wanted to go physically to the movie theaters and see it the kids did make it a little bit of a harder experience for me because i don't know if you guys tell like when i take like b-roll shots of like movies or shows that i'm watching i have captions on because i truly cannot hear and the fact that quiet place is a quiet movie i can barely hear anything itself so the part where they were whispering i'm like I can't, I can't hear anything with these kids talking. So there were some of the parts of the movie I truly just didn't hear nothing because I can't, I really can't hear it. So I'm just gonna have to wait till it either comes out on HBO Max or it comes out on a streaming service platform or something that way I can watch it again. Other than that, the experience was amazing. Everyone's safe distance, like I felt super safe in the theater. I think it was maybe like 10 groups of people. So the theater was pretty much empty. That's a little story time, I guess. But like I did say, we were going to Shake Shack after, so we got Shake Shack and I got their new burger, which I didn't even know was a thing until the other day. I didn't vlog this. My brother and I went to Chick-fil-A. I've been craving Chick-fil-A for months, like literally for months. And then my brother actually got Shake Shack that day and then when we went in there I saw that they had some new sandwiches so I got one I'm gonna do a quick little taste test for you guys got some fries they're just regular fries now I'm thinking about it I maybe should have gotten like some cheese fries or like bacon cheese fries I don't know today's like my cheat day and then the sandwich I got is the new one it is a chicken avocado no avocado chicken and bacon sandwich I didn't realize that it was two different kinds that they had both of them have avocado on it but there's a chicken one and then there's a burger one so I almost got the burger one but then I realized the chicken one is more newer they have more newer stuff on the chicken one than the burger one so that's the one I got it looks like this it looks so good Oh my god. Oh, I forgot to tell them no pickles. I don't like pickles. This is literally what it looks like. It looks so good. So I need to take these pickles out. Yep. Let's do our taste test. The chicken is really crunchy. It was so good. Okay. Wow, so I'm gonna eat this and I will catch up with you guys later. What's up guys? So it is currently the next day and I was editing the vlog and realized that I never ended it. So I'm coming on here to end it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like it was all over the place, but still I hope you guys enjoyed it. The next vlog that will be uploaded is going to be such a fun one. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss out on that. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.